Hi, I am Dr. Sumati Premanan. I am a consultant obstetrician gynecologist and fertility specialist in Darshan Fertility and Women's Medical Center, Arunbhati. Today I am here to talk about and clear and to create an awareness about prematurity. Preterm births. This is a huge burden worldwide still. You know how much? One million young children who are born die because of complications of preterm birth, simply because they are born preterm. 27 million births happen in India, out of which 3.5 million are born preterm. It is that big a health burden in any nation, including us. Today we shall simply address about and understand about what the causes of preterm births are, how we can prevent them, how we can manage them and how we can prevent in future births and why we are worried about it and how to manage complications in simple words. What is prematurity? The total gestation period of a child which is in the mother's womb should be approximately 40 weeks. When a child is born, before 37 completed weeks of gestation, the child is known as premature and the delivery is known as premature delivery. What are the causes of preterm births? When we look at the woman, we should go deep into the history, her personal history, her previous medical history and her present obstetric complications to understand whether this is a candidate who will go in for preterm delivery. Especially in a country like India, we have women from various social classes. Being very low weight itself, you know, anybody who is lesser than 45 kilos itself is a risk factor for teenage pregnancies, youngsters getting pregnant, being malnourished, anemic, having history of anemia and smoking and drug abuse. These are all factors if we meet a woman in our clinics or hospitals. And if we find a woman of this nature, we should be addressing and we should be understanding their issue and we should know that these would be the women who may have, you know, preterm delivery in their present pregnancies or future births. In their previous medical history, when we find out, we should find out if they've had previous preterm births, if their child was hospitalized in the NICU because of low birth weight or a neonatal care which was required because they were born before 37 weeks of gestation. During the examination of ultrasound or on physical examination, if they have a short cervix, any history of cervical surgeries, you know, surgeries in the cervix because of various reasons, any history of cervical tear or injury during previous childbirths could post this pregnancy in this woman as a high-risk pregnancy for preterm birth in this pregnancy or later. And obstetric complications are something which can occur without the woman's control. Distinction of the uterus beyond which it uh, is supposed to hold something like multiple gestation, polypetramnios, naturally sends uh, the pregnancy into preterm labor sometimes. Infections with the uterus, vagina and the cervix and mean the reproductive tract and the urinary tract could uh, catapult this pregnancy towards preterm delivery. How can we prevent preterm delivery? A proper history taking, improvement of the nutritional status, continuing fetal maternal surveillance can prevent a lot of problems in this particular pregnancy. If the cervix is short uh, or if there has been a history of previous preterm births, we could consider giving it a cervical encephalot and tightening the cervix adequately. Or we could concurrently use uh, micronized progesterone or various drug preparations which are available in the market which would prolong the pregnancy up to term. We should not hesitate in using drugs and explaining to the family that these are available for the safety of the mother and the baby. What about treatment? Most of the time when we have actually prevented this problem from coming, we have already treated this woman and given her primary care. But what if she comes in preterm labor? She could come either in a threatened preterm labor condition or she could come in an established preterm labor condition. If there is a threatened preterm labor, she would have some vague symptoms of abdominal discomfort, low back ache and a sort of uneasiness and increase in renal discharge. These women could be offered rest. We could protect her baby by giving her antenatal uh, corticosteroids. 
Magnesium sulfate, if it is an extreme preterm, to protect the baby if it is going to be born. And continue, continue with the micronized progesterone or uh, you know, using drugs which would calm the uterus or make the uterus quiescent. Depending on the medical condition, these things could be used. When there is an established medical uh, problem, like an established preterm labor, where you cannot prevent this woman from, or you cannot stop this uh, pregnancy from being the, going into a preterm delivery state, all we need to do is shift the woman into a holistic care or care hospital, which would give both care to the mother and to the baby. This is very important. Most of the preterm delivered babies require a neonatal ICU care and it is our duty to shift the woman to the required hospital conditions so that that sort of care can be given and delay can be avoided. Providing her with a good team of an experienced obstetrician and a neonatal team is extremely important for saving this baby. Because if the baby is going to be extremely preterm, it's going to need, the baby is going to need a prolonged care in the NICU in the hands of expert neonatologists. Enough amount of uh, counseling need to be uh, given to women who are identified as risk factors during this pregnancy for preterm delivery. Preparing the family mentally, financially and emotionally would actually reduce problems later. Why are we bothered about preterm delivery? What happens to these kids? There are two sets of problems which can occur in these preterm children. One is simply because they are low birth weight, and the other is because of the immaturity of their systems. Because of low birth weight and immaturity, the baby will be probably tiny and difficult to be managed by the young woman who has delivered and the family to take care. They will probably have problem in sucking, lactation, and feeding. Because of immaturity, some of the problems which can come is the primary concern is if their lungs, the first thing the baby needs to do is cry and sustain the breathing actually, you know, independently without the help of anybody. That's what a life is meant for, a new life is meant for. But if the baby develops, you sort of a preterm delivery and uh, the baby is lung system is immature, it is because of surfactant deficiency. We cover them with antenatal steroids so that this incidence of respiratory issues and respiratory distress syndrome, uh, future ventilation and probable neonatal deaths can be reduced because of this. The other problems which can occur are necrotizing enterocolitis, which is a problem in the intestine. And then the next is if the baby could have a intraventricular hemorrhage. There could be infections. 40% of the deaths which occur in this period of you know, neonatal age uh, in any ICU unit are probably because of these preterm births and their complications. It is not just complications which occur immediately after birth. There could be complications if not managed or if the baby is extremely preterm later on in their life also. Their mindset stones could be delayed and future problems of this particular baby is something which we need to address as obstetrician gynecologists as well as neonatologists and pediatricians. So, why are we worried? This is a growing problem. It has been always there. Despite all sorts of training which goes into our medical colleges, the practices and the delivery because worldwide there is no access, you know, there is no uniform access to healthcare for women and babies who are born. As doctors, we should be aware that it is not just the medical condition that we are taking care but it is the family which is involved, a society which is involved, a nation which is involved and then using the neonatal mortality, secondary or even morbidities which are associated with preterm births as healthcare providers is very very important because it is not just a mental problem, it is an emotional problem, it is a huge financial burden for the family and they are always worried about what's going to happen to this little baby, whether it will be normal, whether it will be like other children. It is our duty to take care of this, prevent it and take care when it happens. Let us prevent prematurity. Let us prevent problems coming with prematurity and give a baby to the parent which can be a wholesome adult later. <laughs>